city, there lived a young man named Ethan. At 25, he possessed a disheveled appearance that mirrored the state of his life. His once promising future had withered away, buried beneath the weight of his addiction to YouTube. Ethan's day began like any other, with the monotonous buzzing of his alarm clock. Groggily, he fumbled to silence it and immediately reached for his smartphone. The device was a portal to his addiction, his gateway to a world of endless entertainment. As he lay in bed, Ethan's eyes fixated on the screen, where a familiar YouTube logo greeted him. He scrolled through his subscription feed, finding a smorgasbord of content creators vying for his attention. Gaming channels, vlogs, cooking tutorials, and even videos on productivity, ironically enough, all beckoned him to click and watch. Hours slipped away as he traversed the digital labyrinth. He started with a gaming video that promised epic battles and never-ending excitement. Afterward, he moved on to travel vlogs, feeling the vicarious thrill of exploring exotic locales through the lens of a camera. One click led to another, and soon he was knee-deep in conspiracy theories about alien life on Earth. His room grew dimmer as the sun outside climbed higher in the sky, unnoticed by Ethan. He was lost in a sea of content, each click pushing him deeper into a never-ending spiral. His stomach growled, reminding him of his neglected hunger, but he ignored it, opting for another video about the secrets of the Bermuda Triangle. Ethan's life had become a barren wasteland of potential, a land where dreams and ambitions went to die. He had abandoned his studies, estranged himself from friends, and lost his job due to excessive absenteeism. YouTube had become his escape, his refuge from the responsibilities and expectations of the real world. By the time evening descended, Ethan's room was shrouded in darkness, save for the flickering glow of his smartphone screen. He had become a passive observer of other people's lives, lost in a virtual world that offered the illusion of connection without any of its substance. The clock struck midnight, and yet Ethan showed no signs of stopping. His mind had become a jumbled mess of information, each video leaving a trail of trivial facts and half-baked knowledge in its wake. He had forgotten what it felt like to engage with the world beyond his screen, to experience the joy of accomplishment and the pain of failure. In the depths of that dark apartment, Ethan was a prisoner of his own making. He was trapped in a cycle of procrastination, unable to break free from the clutches of YouTube's never-ending stream of content. The world outside continued to spin, but for him, time had lost all meaning. As he clicked on another video, the blue glow of the screen casting airy shadows on his face, Ethan couldn't help but wonder if he would ever find a way out of this digital abyss. But for now, he was content to surrender himself to the infinite expanse of YouTube, where the real world and its demands were nothing more than distant echoes. Days turned into weeks, and weeks into months as Ethan's life continued to revolve around the virtual realm of YouTube. His existence had become a blur of video thumbnails, clickbait titles, and an unquenchable thirst for the next dopamine hit of entertainment. Ethan's apartment had descended into chaos. Piles of dirty laundry and discarded food containers littered the floor, a testament to his neglect of basic responsibilities. The once cozy space had transformed into a suffocating den of digital escapism. His smartphone was now his constant companion, permanently affixed to his hand like a digital umbilical cord. Notifications from YouTube and its associated social media platforms were his only connection to the outside world. Friendships had withered away, and his family's concern had turned into frustration. Ethan's addiction was no longer just about watching videos, it had evolved into a desperate quest for validation through the digital medium. He had created a YouTube channel of his own producing low-quality content in a futile attempt to emulate the creators he admired. His subscriber count was paltry, and the comments sections of his videos were often filled with criticism and ridicule. But in the fleeting moments when someone left a positive comment or hit the like button, Ethan's heart swelled with a false sense of accomplishment. He clung to these morsels of affirmation like a drowning man grasping at a life buoy, all the while ignoring the glaring chasm between his aspirations and reality. The world outside continued to evolve, but Ethan remained trapped in a never-ending loop of procrastination. His dreams and ambitions had become distant memories, overshadowed by the allure of instant gratification. His once vibrant mind had dulled, and his creativity had withered away. Ethan's physical health had also begun to deteriorate. His back ached from hours spent hunched over his smartphone, and his eyes burned from the relentless screen time. Yet, he persisted, unable to tear himself away from the ceaseless stream of content. One evening, as he mindlessly scrolled through his feed, a video caught his attention. It was a TED Talk titled Breaking Free from Digital Addiction. Intrigued, he clicked on it, hoping to find a solution to his increasingly dire predicament. The speaker, a former digital addict himself, recounted his journey to recovery. 
he spoke of the importance of setting boundaries, rediscovering real-world connections, and finding purpose beyond the digital realm. It was as if the words were directed at Ethan personally, a lifeline amidst the sea of distractions. For the first time in months, Ethan felt a glimmer of hope. He began to watch more videos on digital detoxing, self-improvement, and personal growth. These newfound interests slowly started to chip away at the impenetrable wall of his addiction. As the night wore on, and the TED Talks message sunk in, Ethan made a decision. He knew it wouldn't be easy, but he was determined to break free from the shackles of YouTube and rediscover the life he had left behind. With newfound resolve, he shut off his smartphone, casting the room into darkness. The videos that had held him captive for so long faded into memory. The journey to reclaim his life had just begun, but for the first time in a long while, Ethan felt the flicker of possibility, the possibility of escaping the digital illusion and finding his way back to the real world. In the following days, Ethan embarked on a journey of self-discovery and redemption. Breaking free from the endless YouTube cycle was a daunting task, but he was determined to regain control over his life. The first step was to address the physical toll his addiction had taken. He committed to a daily exercise routine, determined to undo the damage to his body. Each morning, he forced himself out of bed, stretching muscles that had been dormant for far too long. As he pushed through the initial discomfort, he felt a glimmer of strength returning to his body, a sense of vitality he had long forgotten. With newfound discipline, Ethan also tackled the chaos in his apartment. He spent hours cleaning, scrubbing away the grime that had accumulated during his period of neglect. The act of restoring order to his living space brought a sense of satisfaction and control he had sorely missed. Ethan's digital detox required a Herculean effort. He deleted the YouTube app from his smartphone, severing the most direct link to his addiction. He also implemented a strict schedule, allocating specific hours for work, leisure, and self-improvement. Each day, he logged into his YouTube channel with a different purpose in mind, to archive his old videos, respond to comments constructively, and gradually wean himself off the platform. His newfound sense of purpose led him to explore hobbies and interests he had long abandoned. He dusted off his neglected musical instruments and began to practice again, the melodies resonating with the reawakening of his creativity. He also started reading books, relishing the sensation of turning physical pages and immersing himself in the worlds they offered. But the most challenging aspect of his recovery was rebuilding his social connections. Ethan had isolated himself from friends and family, and he knew it was time to mend those fractured bonds. He reached out to old friends, inviting them for coffee or a simple catch-up. He found himself feeling awkward and out of touch at first, but with each interaction, he felt a little less like a stranger in his own life. Ethan's family welcomed his efforts with open arms, relieved to see signs of their son and brother returning to them. They offered support and encouragement, even attending therapy sessions together to heal the wounds his addiction had caused. As weeks turned into months, Ethan's YouTube channel became a testament to his transformation. He documented his journey to recovery, sharing his struggles and successes with a growing community of viewers. It was no longer about chasing fame or validation, it was about using his platform to inspire others trapped in the same digital labyrinth. The positive feedback and genuine connections he forged through his channel filled a void that YouTube had once occupied. Ethan found purpose in helping others break free from their digital addictions, and in doing so, he continued to heal himself. It was a long and arduous road, but with perseverance and a renewed sense of purpose, Ethan emerged from the depths of his addiction stronger than ever before. He had learned that life was not meant to be lived through a screen but experienced in the real world, with all its challenges and rewards. Ethan's story became a beacon of hope for those lost in the same abyss of endless videos. His journey showed them that it was possible to break free, to rediscover their passions, and to rebuild the connections that had been strained by digital isolation. In the end, Ethan realized that the most meaningful content he could ever create wasn't found on YouTube but in the story of his own redemption. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more stories. Until next time, take care and keep watching.